Hello and welcome to the data analyst course. So this data analyst course is for someone who doesn't know anything about the data analysis. So this is the course which I am bringing it for you. If let's say you are planning to learn data analysis or let's say you are working in one industry and want to shift on to the data analysis and want to know the basics of data analysis, then you can get to know completely about everything with a lot of examples, right? So this data analysis course, I am putting it here on YouTube as well as it is present in my classes where not only you get the recorded sessions, but also get to have a one-on-one -on -one live interaction with me where I can help you clear your doubts. So that is the session which I conduct on every Sunday where everybody joins and interact with me for any doubt that they are having. All right. So data analysis course, and in the data analysis course, for a beginner, it is very important to understand what is data. And that is my next topic, first topic over here, that what is data? If we clearly understand what is data, we can move ahead and start with the data analysis because the name itself is data analysis. First part is data, which we will understand. Analysis is a second topic, which I will also show you in one other section or in one other slide. So in each slide, I have a lot of examples. Stay with me. And in the end, I have a homework, right? So that you can put uh, whatever you are learning into an action and get something out as part of this course. Okay, so what is data? Well, in the simplest form, data is facts and figures. For example, my name is Abhishek. That is a data. I have 15 plus years of experience in data analysis domain is also another fact. Similarly, let's say you are collecting a data for all the different, uh, you know, either the teachers or the trainers around the data analysis. So that becomes your multiple data points. You have names, you have number of years of experience, what are they offering? So this is, you know, big part of facts and figures. So if I say fact, the name is a fact in that case, or the name is basically a known entity. Figure is, let's say I have 15 years of experience, this become a fixed 15 years as a figure. Similarly, I have many other examples to really go and understand. The first example, what I have for you, if you see the population of India, which is in case of India is 1.35 billion, in case of China 1.4, US 331 million, Indonesia is 273. So what I'm saying over here is that this is one of the form of data. I will show you four more examples over here, but this is one of the form of here where we are collecting the data about the population of various countries, right? So it's a facts and figures. So this is basically your figures 1.35, 1.4, 331. And again, the name becomes what? Fact. So it's a collection of lots of facts and figures. And when we go into the business intelligence, you have also the different naming conventions like dimension and measure, but I'll keep it for later for the advanced BI scenarios. But for the basics, you should know data is basically, uh, it can either be fact or figure, or it can be both, right? But if you see, if I just tell you India, China, US, Indonesia, that means just the name of the countries, then it is a data of name of the countries. And if I just tell you 1.35, 1.4, 331, 273, you will never be able to get an idea like what are those figures. And that is basically very helpful when you collect multiple figures together as part of one big data entry. So India, 1.35 billion shows that it is a population because they two are related. So these are what an example of another related data point. So from first thing, the data is facts and figures. You have facts and figures. Then the relation between those figures makes it more interesting. And that's where all the amazing thing happens around data analysis. Okay. Now let's move on to the next example. Now this is very personal to you. And uh, let's say hypothetical example, let's say you have got the marks in 8th standard 65%, 9th standard 63%, 10th standard 70%, 11th 75%, and in 12th standard you got 78%. Now if you see, this is also part of one form of data, that is your own personalized data. If let's say you want to understand your performance or you want to understand how much marks you have secured over the years, this is what you get. 
you will also get an idea let's say if you move on to the next class then generally you should be getting somewhere around 70 percent as the marks however it clearly shows that 70 to 75 to 78 that means you are basically gaining more and more mark that means you are becoming good so probably next time either you get 78 or 80 percent or maybe a little bit lower 75 percent and that is what also one of the concepts in statistics which i just explained to you i'm not telling you the name just don't want to make it complicated but that is what you call a confidence interval in statistics so it's all around the data getting to know about the data with the help of these examples and slowly i'm just telling you what are the things which we will be seeing in coming slides or in coming chapters okay so this is another form for your marks but think about this for a school they have to maintain a lot of data they have to maintain the data for each class in each class how many students you have who is the class teacher for it overall teachers they have right all of those things so it becomes really really complex but think about this for your class you are not just maintaining yours but let's say you are maintaining it for all the students and then getting to know whether 78 percent is above the class average marks or below the class average marks and that's where the data analysis comes in when we try to understand not just our data point but also in relation with what marks other students are getting and that becomes the part of data analysis okay now let's make go to the third example which is average housing prices in Delhi for 1000 square, uh, square yard in 4 years. So what does it mean? It basically shows that let's say if you are trying to make an investment whether it is worth going on or not and you are collecting data for it. So again based on the data you want to get facts and figures. So what are your facts and figures in 2018? 55 million was the price. Uh, 2019 62 million was the price 2020 58 million was the price and 2021 65 million was the price so clearly it is indicating that during these years the price is not increasing significantly it's like in not in in five years the price is getting double that's not the situation they are relatively anywhere around 60 or 62 million close to that and not increasing very significantly and then you know you can take an investment decision that whether you want to go ahead or not but from the perspective of this slide data is you have your facts and figures together where you can take the help of this and make an investment decision right now the next thing is uh, next example i have for you is mobile phone users in india so every country is having various different mobile operators in india you have primarily you have three Jio, Airtel and Vodafone and their uh, subscriber base 550 million, 430 million and 100 million subscriber base. So this basically tells you the top three mo uh, mobile phone, uh, not the users, but the users who are part of a particular carrier. So Jio is one of the mobile carrier or mobile uh, provider, the, the network provider. So they have 550 million as a user base. So all in all, if you sum up all these figures, you get one other uh, 930 I think it is one point I think 1.3 billion is what you will going to get as the output or around 1 billion right mobile phone users so that's another example of data where you get you are getting to know about who are those mobile users and this become interesting for example you want to uh, you have got this basic data got the basic understanding well next step will be that you want to understand okay 550 million in how in how many days or in how many years or months they have secured these five these these users because i live in india so i know that just over a period of four five years they have done that however airtel is there from almost like 15 years or at least that's what i know 15 to 18 years they are there and still they are behind geo so as part of data analyst i know that geo is going really aggressive and Airtel could only secure 430 million in so many years. They just did it in a couple of years. Geo did it in a couple of years. So that becomes your analysis domain or analysis scenario. Uh, once you have gathered this data and data is what your facts and figures, right? And then last example, what I have for you is your house budget in last few years or last few months. And that's what you have is in Jan, you have 10,000 fab is it? And that is in INR, by the way. 
so jan you have 10000 feb 8000 march 9000 april 10000 and may 12000 so these are basically the expenses every month you are incurring for maintaining your house uh, or maintaining the budget of your um, of your uh, house so that is the expenses now with this you get an idea okay on an average i need 10000 rupees right so close to 10000 rupees is what you are spending every month some in some month little bit less in some month little bit high but again from the perspective of data this is the data you have collected and you got an idea as well that generally i spend around 10000 plus minus 2000 rupees that's okay and that is something you can decide let's say you are planning other budget like travel or something else is also you know you can get an idea from that but from a house budget perspective this gives these facts and figures gives you the idea about uh, what your expenses are so these are like five different examples with the help of that i wanted to just tell you that data is nothing but some collection of facts and figures right and when they come together analysis starts happening like population of india one can do analysis if let's say they are planning marketing strategies and whatnot your marks gives an indication where you may land in the next year if you continue with the same approach or if whether you need to improve more if let's say you want to get more marks housing prices helps you investment decision criteria geo uh, the mobile phone users tells you which one let's say you need to prefer in case you need to go for some sort of marketing strategy with them your house budget in last few months basically tells you whether you are uh, spending more or less or you want to get an idea what is my month on month expenses are and that's usually what happens in data analysis once we collect some data we start interpreting the data in a way that it makes sense to us you know in a way that we can interpret the findings we can basically conclude or we can make out some sort of inference out of that and that helps us basically move into the next direction first we are looking at it okay what is this information and then you know the next obvious question is why this is happening for example we saw that in geo you know in last couple of years they acquired 550 million which is way uh, higher than the airtel then the next obvious question is why this is happening and that becomes another level of data analysis with which you know we try to figure it out what a, a one company has done uh, differently than other company and something that you can adopt or as part of the best practice so this is my first slide which uh, on in which i wanted to get you familiarized with the data so that you get the best idea about it that what is data how you can use it and uh, if something is coming to you and someone is asking to you that okay tell me what is the data then you will be able to explain confidently as a data beginner data analyst okay so with that uh, let me know if you have any question related to this and i'll be happy to answer you also if you are already in my training then i will meet you in the live q a you can ask questions uh, over there as well to me so with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next section